<laughs> Guys, it was such a beautiful moment on MLK Day, seeing the Fab Five together for the first time since their playing days in the 1990s, where you had Jalen Rose, you had Chris Webber, Jimmy King, Ray Jackson sitting courtside watching their former teammate and all lifetime, lifelong brother, Jawan Howard, coaching the Wolverines, who just happened to be playing Ohio State, and they beat them. Remember, like, that that photo of Jalen Rose and Chris Webber together talking about my brother and seeing them all smiling on the court, oh, my goodness. Yeah. I feel like that healed so much, not just of Wolverines fans, but the state of Michigan for for what they did during their heyday with the Wolverine Cherie. Ooh, you know what? We need this for the culture. There's so many things that we can be aggravated by, upset around. Um, I was like, it almost made, and I'm not really the most sensitive person, but I, I almost felt like a little piece of a tear duct kind of coming <laughs> in on the right, on the right eye. Um, they meant so much to, to basketball. Um, mm -hmm. not just men's college basketball. And I think that's important to, to say. And for me growing up, you know, playing the game and, and considering all that they did have to endure, considering what happened, you know, when C Webb called that timeout, like all of these different things that really became etched in the history of what this group was that was so beneath, in my opinion, the yeah. the, the the measure at which and the lengths at which they made a difference for the game in general and not just how they played. It was a mentality that they just introduced that I felt was so fresh at that time, the way they wore their uniforms, the black socks. I mean, the list goes on and on. They were trendsetters and seeing yes. them together and seeing people excited about them being together. It, it just, it, it warms my heart because they deserve those flowers. And I think sometimes we, we look at the wins and losses of certain games and situations and we negate the overall impact. So I'm, I was very happy to see it. I love what Jawan Howard is doing in, in Michigan. I love, I'm glad he's getting healthy and he's okay. I know he had yeah. a surgery, you know, recently and all those things. So it's just nice to all just, just to see them together, but also to see what they've been able to accomplish even since then. So shout out to them. I'm here for it. Yeah. Um, I'm agreed. Um, and as a Spartan grew up beloved <laughs> as a Spartan, it ain't always easy to show love to Michigan. And like some some people, <clears throat> I'm not sure if they understand how real rivalries work, right? And so in real rivalries, like it's ingrained. It's not, it's not one of those like, oh, I mean, it's cute, we cool this time. It's like, no, from the moment you come out the womb. This I was gonna ask you that as a baby, has it been inside you since right. since childhood? Yeah. From the <laughs> moment you come out the womb. It's like, we don't do maize and blue, period, right? Yeah. But then you have other family members who are completely opposite, where they're like, we don't do nothing East Lansing, we don't do nothing state. So there is always a house divided, part Michigan, part state. We got Michigan alum and Michigan State alum. And it, so it's a, always a house divided. But this was the one moment growing mm. up as a kid where it was like, this is bigger than just a school rivalry, right? Because number one, Jalen Rose is from Southwest Detroit. Quiz Weber is from Detroit. Jawan Howard, he's from the shot, which is like the cousin of Detroit. And his son even went to my high school, Jawan Howard Jr. He went to the, at the same time as Derek Nixon, Keith Applin, Persian High School. So I say all that to say that there was a deeper level of we really need to see these kids make it because kids mm -hmm. don't make it from where we're from, right. right? So it was very difficult to have that hate for the Wolverines in the 90s when this squad full of young black men that are representing the city and town of people in Detroit in the 90s, it ain't like Detroit now. Detroit now, you come, you go downtown, you have a great time, you have fun, you never have to see what Detroit really looks like. In the 90s, it didn't matter where you went. Detroit had a bad rep, had a bad name, had a bad whatever like there was no there was no grace for us so mm. you all were representing what many would call the best of the city even though you didn't come from the best of circumstances and so to see them get to that level was so exciting for everyone and then to see how 
the whole relationship started to dissipate was just as disheartening. Mm-hmm. It was just yeah. as hard to 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 hear, you know, I don't ever want to be in a room with that man and or things like that. It was like this was a brotherhood we all grew to love and we all grew to love this team because of the brotherhood we saw y'all display. So it was very interesting in the city at that time. So I even as a Spartan loved yesterday seeing them show up, seeing them support their brother. Um, but most importantly, the same way I feel about women's basketball when I'm seeing the greats of the game come back and pour into the young people um, on the women's side, I just love seeing them at a game, period. It just yeah. further connects, you know, what you can do and what you can accomplish as a professional to what you can do on the collegiate level in college sports. And you know, y'all both know that the parity in college basketball right now is at an all-time high. So it yeah. was incredible to see those guys come back in that moment. But specifically, it was an Ohio State game. That's a rivalry game for them. So it was just the moment. Everything about the moment was just perfect. Yeah. It, it, it was like it was written, you know, uh, on a Hollywood script or for a Hollywood movie or something like that. Just how everything came together. Five black dudes, right, who challenged the system. Uh, they did it on MLK Day. They get the win yeah. against a rival. You really couldn't have scripted it any better.